In summary, we have solved problems in 2D collisions. We have reviewed collision problems and how to solve these problems using conservation of momentum. Nagbigay tayo ng maraming examples about that. Um, pinakita natin for an elastic collision that are identical in particles, ang angle between them ay lagging 90 degrees for a non-head-on non collision. And we also de um, defined what the center of mass of a particle is. Uh, and we have shown that the motion of the center of mass is, um, can be the the motion of constituent particles can be um, summarized or can be um, integrated to a single particle which is located on the center of mass and the dynamics will be the same. Now, the question is ganito. So essentially, tapos na tayo sa translational mechanics. So we're done with translational mechanics. Ang problema ganito, hindi naman lahat nagtatranslate. Halimbawa, meron kang ferris wheel. Ang ferris wheel, umiikot. Pero hindi siya dumudulas. It doesn't translate, but it rotates. The question now is, how do we treat this object? May energy kang kinoconsume. Eh. So hindi na enough yung approach natin for the past 19 lectures. Kailangan natin ng another approach. And that will be the focus of the discussion tomorrow, which is on um, rotational kinematics, uh, rotational kinematics and uh, um, rotational energy. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba? None. None. So if there are no more questions, thank you very much for attending. Those of what, who are watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. And i see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye, thank you, sir.